gonna make you mine! All mine! Alice in Wonderland. Oh my! I'm late for a very important date! Come along, come along! I have six wonders to show you! What wonders? Ignore her, Sophie. She just wants to torture us. Alice, I'm gonna make you see the light! Oh, Aww, phantom feet seem like best buds. Any of you happen to be dating? You're mine! Oh, yeah. oh, no. No. I wonder who should be guiding you to come and come back. I'm your friend! I'm so not your heart! Sure! Watch out, Joker! That was tough! See any weaknesses yet, Oracle? One sec. Otherwise. I don't care! Looks like she's weak to win. Got any chances on her way? 
Just add this. Okay, good work, people. Let's get to work. Here's what I found. Are you double checking the request? Mission accomplished. You're accepting this request? You're doing this one? Okay, let's do our best. You're accepting this request? Are you double checking the request?
Are you sure? Lemon. Lemon. Are you sure? Lemon. Are you sure? Lemon. Are you sure? Are you sure? Lemon. Are you sure? Are you sure? Lemon. Are you sure? Lemon. Are you sure? Are you sure? Are you sure? Who is it for? You want this one? Do you want to equip that? Thank you very much! Who is it for? Which one? You want this one? Do you want to equip that? Thank you very much! Who is it for? What's on the menu? I can help. So that's what you're making. Mm -hmm. Hmm? Delicious. This one? So that's what you're making. This one? All done. Mm, well done. Good idea. Mm -hmm. This looks good. Recommend that. Can you hold all that? Stop by again.
get to work. I should write something. Might serve us well to recruit. on the menu. should be able to enter the Overlord's castle now. Time to make our way over. Let's go, team! Let's do something sweet up this. I think we deserve a little reward, yeah? I should write something. Hold on. It's likely the Overlord's retainer is waiting for us inside. It's sure to be a difficult fight. Let's be on our guard. Uh, do you think there's more like the fearsome four in there? Don't worry, Panther. I won't let them hurt you. Man, you're totally sold on this, aren't you? Okay, let's go. So 
someone stop them! You fit the wall.
You were a fierce opponent, Overlord's Retainer. Yours. Go on, then. Chosen hero. Once we get in the castle, we're headed straight for the roof. Are you ready? Let's come back here once we're prepared. I'll just add this. Get in the castle. We're headed straight for the roof. Are you ready? All right, let's go. Okay, we've made it inside. Let's keep up the pace. Something's there. Let's check it out. There should be a path forward somewhere around here. Keep your eyes peeled.
but magical wonders lie within. shadows around. Keep it on! 
All clear. Nothing to worry about here. guys.
any shadows nearby. Is your Here stamina I okay? Can't Make sure you don't burn yourself out. I'm bored my other self! This should help. Thank you. Tagging out. Sure. It's just like the one back in Shibuya. Does this mean that bastard Natsume is kicking it somewhere inside? I'd like to say we should just bust our way in, but... How does it look, Sophie? It looks like it's still locked. We'll need someone to touch it so we can hear the voices in his heart. Okay then. You're up, Skull. Uh-huh. Well, it looks like it's gonna hurt, and it doesn't seem right to ask Sophie to do it. Oh, but it's cool if I do it? Oh, come on, Skull. You're, you know, tough. And he's already experienced it once before. If anything, he's the ideal candidate. Just make us look like a bunch of dorks. All right, do it. I could do it if you want. Yeah, it's cool. I got it. Thank you, Skull. Jeez, you'd think someone his age would have at least some talent. <laughs> like it matters. This kid's gonna make us a fortune. Yeah, I'm hearing voices. All right. He's. Voices are somehow related to Natsume's emotional scars? Most likely. We just need to listen to the conversation and figure out the source of his trauma from there. So we're looking for something like what Shujin Academy was to Alice. We should keep listening. There's bound to be some sort of clue here. Sir, try to keep your voice down. He'll be back any minute. Oh, come off it. Can you really blame me for complaining? I'm the one who has to read his crap every day. Uh, the kid's got motivation, but that's about all he's got. Seems any talent for writing in that family died with his grandfather. Oh, excuse me, can I get another Katori coffee? Yes, sir, just a moment. Well, he's still our little money tree. No way in hell we're letting him go. <laughs> You're terrible, sir. What? What's going on here? Ow! Damn, this shit hurts. Well, thanks to that, however, we've managed to hear a good amount. I didn't really get it, but uh, it sounded like some kind of cafe. Indeed. I heard one of them say Gatore Coffee. Right, Gatori is the name of a cafe chain. But I don't think I saw any around Sendai Station. If there aren't a lot of them, it'll make finding the right one that much easier. Well, at the very least, we've got a lead on finding the trauma room now. Right, let's get out of here and find us a coffee shop. Mm-hmm. Huh. 
<laughs> What'll it be? Oh, that's good. Thanks, a bundle. Oh, that's good. Here you are. Then come again. So that's what you're getting? Thank you very much. Stop by again. you'll get here you come again thank you for coming in is that what you thank you very much is that thank you thanks for stopping by on the menu. Assistant chef, reporting for duty. What should we make? I can help. This one? Mm -hmm. This looks good. This one? All done. Mm, well done. Good idea. Phew. That went well. It smells delicious. So that's what you're making. Mm -hmm. Well done. Good idea. All done. Well done. Time to cook. 
let me help. All right, we're on the hunt for a Gatorade coffee. First, let's find out how many are in the area. Gatorade coffee. Got it. There's only one that's close to Sendai Station. Whoa, that was fast. It's a bit of a walk, but I'll be happy to guide you to the destination. You're amazing, Sophia. It's like you were made to be a navigator. Ugh, but being the navigator's my job. It's simply a question of having the right person for the right job. Fear not, Futaba. There are plenty of things only you can do. Hmm. I guess that's true. Nobody else can act like a weirdo quite like you do, Inari. Who are you calling a weirdo? All right. I guess we'll just head over to the cafe then, yeah? Yeah. Let's get going. This is it. Gatori coffee. I can smell the coffee. It seems to be just an ordinary cafe. Are we sure we have the right place? We'll just have to put in the keyword and see. Alright, let's make it happen. The trauma cell's calling our names. Trauma cell? It's just a name I came up with. Trauma room sounds like some kind of cheesy hospital drama. Whatever you want, we gotta roll. The key to opening that birdcage has gotta be here somewhere. Do you remember the keyword? Of course. It's Prince of Nightmares. Just like what happened in Shibuya. This is where Natsume's trauma comes from. What could have happened to him, I wonder? Shh. Someone's up ahead. Uh, are you sure about this? Awarding him the grand prize for that? Ongo Natsume. <laughs> the kid's entered every contest, but he's never made it past the first stage. He's as stubborn as he is incompetent. What's more, his writing is so painfully generic, it only becomes more obvious when you compare it to the other candidates. What? That voice... Is it Natsume? It can't be... Acknowledged my work. It's fine. He's the great Sogo Natsume's grandson, remember? Brand recognition is a huge part of marketability. Nobody gives a rat's ass about what's beyond the cover. Though a certain someone seems to think he's actually worth a damn. Poor kid can't even see just how hopeless he really is. <laughs> Seriously, it's pathetic. <laughs> oh, I'm trying as hard as I can. No skin off my nose, so long as he keeps raking it in. We hit the jackpot with that one, and I plan on riding him straight to the top. And if he does, by some miracle, make something decent of himself, well then everyone wins, right? <laughs> These guys are the worst. Here it comes. Right on you. A Talipus hat like you is hopeless. Hopeless! Hopeless! This is the same thing we saw in Shibuya. Careful! It's using different weapons from last time. Come! Succubus! Andres! Persona! You're mine! 
That's too late. <laughs> you did it! The warning's down for the count. Okay. Oh, a new skill! Whew. Well, I guess that does it. We can get inside the birdcage now, right? Better get going then. Wait, but what was that we just saw? Seems Ango Natsume wasn't given that award on his own merit. Those editors just used him for his name. So, there was a secret behind that novel after all. But he's not a bad guy, is he? It sounded like he entered the competition a whole bunch of times. And just when he thought his hard work was paying off, he had to hear all that. It must have been devastating. Those editors are horrible. They knew his writing wasn't good enough, but they still gave him the prize just so they could make money. It still doesn't justify what he's doing now. Nevertheless, I'm beginning to understand how he feels. Fox? Rising to fame atop stolen ideas, pulling at people's emotions with a fabricated story. Even worse, robbing others of their free will, changing their hearts, and wallowing in his own vanity. These crimes are unforgivable. There's no denying that he's been a fool. And yet, in spite of all that, it doesn't change the fact that Natsume spent years giving it everything he had. Creative work is often a lonely endeavor. And battling against that loneliness is truly a challenge in and of itself. As if it wasn't hard enough, if you don't produce results, no one will even think twice about you. One might even begin to think that such dark and Unfulfilling times are all that's in store. Had I taken one wrong step, I may very well have turned out to be just as hideous as him. Inari. It's thanks to your friendship that I didn't stray from the path. He, however, doesn't seem to have anyone. Atsume should know better than most that there's no meaning in superficial glory. Now he's turned his back on what he truly wants to write for the sake of spinning this infernal novel of lies. Someone needs to bring him back to his senses. You seem pretty motivated this time around, Inari. As one who's dedicated his life to art, I simply cannot condone his actions. Now, let us bring this to an end. We'll send the calling card, then wrest the Overlord from his throne. What's left is the calling card. Right. We need to make Natsume aware that we're coming to steal the desires. That should materialize them. We'll need to decide how we want to do it. What's the best way to make sure he gets the message? That only worked because we had all those people to help spread the word. It probably wouldn't work here. Hmm. What do we do? Be lost, maybe? I'll go take a look. Hey, what's wrong, kid? Oh, you got separated from your mom, huh? Don't worry, I got you. Is that Zenkichi? What? Ramsu's already here? Hey, it's me. I got a kid who was separated from his mom here. Send someone over to look after him, would you? I'm over it. Huh? What do you mean it's not worth pub sex time? Quit screwing around. You call yourself an officer of the law? Or are you saying you'd abandon your own kid too, is that it? A lost kid's no joke, you know. <laughs> hey, wait. Where are you going? It's okay. I'm not going to hurt you or anything. Uh, the kid totally thinks he's a creep. Kid sure made things difficult. He didn't have to run away like that, right? Right? You're not exactly cute and cuddly, Gramps. Honestly, I don't blame him. Will you stop calling me Gramps? This is perfect timing, though, actually. Let's ask Zenkichi what he thinks. <sighs> sure. 
We're supposed to be working together anyway. We're all set to go inside Natsume's jail. There's just one thing left to do. Only problem is, we're not sure how to send our calling card. Calling card? Oh, you mean that thing you guys did with the screens in Shibuya? If you want my advice, you should avoid any high-profile stuff like that. The police aren't that stupid. Eventually you'll get caught. I know I'm supposed to help you and all, but I gotta draw the line at breaking the law. Hmm, so the adult's the voice of reason here. You really are a Gramps, you know that? <sighs> You're pretty set on calling me that, aren't you? Uh, whatever. My point is, go with something simpler. We need a way to guarantee that Natsume will read the calling card. Maybe if we knew where he was going to be, we could set something up before he arrived. In that case, I found just the event. Natsume is holding another book signing at the bookstore near the station. Natsume will most certainly be there. It starts as soon as the store opens at 10 a.m. Oh, that sounds doable. I bet it'd be easy to set up if we roll in at night. Hey, didn't you hear what I said? Breaking and entering's a crime, you know? Well, that's where you come in, Gramps. Huh? Yeah. If we did it and got caught, they'd lock us up. They'd lock me up, too! You saying you can't do it? <sighs> Some help the police turned out to be. Wasn't the deal that you'd cooperate with us? I thought adults kept their word. You kids. All right, it's settled. I will go and prepare the calling card. Yeah, you got this, Yusuke. That goes for you too, Zenkichi. We'll leave the planning to you. Am I seriously going to go through with this? Listen to me. I should write something.
let's head back. He's the chosen one. Just add this.
Yes. Mr. Natsume. Good morning. I see there's quite a crowd today as well. Uh, yes, about that. What is it? What? What is this? Well, when the staff came to open the store this morning, it was already like this. They called the police, but they were told to leave it as is, to preserve the crime scene. To the ostentatious swindler, Mr. Ango Natsume, you are a depraved miscreant who holds others in contempt and steals their work, lining your own pockets all the while. We refuse to overlook the crimes you commit as you...